Good evening YouTube, this is the LA Engineering student and tonight we are going to look at how many times my camera can focus on my computer screen. Alright, now we got the autofocus off. So what are we looking at right here? We're looking at all the jobs that I applied to in the last three days, numbering up to 43 because of course the first row is not a job. So. Why am I sharing this with you? Well, people say, uh, I talked with someone recently about an interview and he was saying, well, what do you want to do with your you know, career? And this is what I want to do. So if anyone is curious what kind of jobs I'm looking for, take a look at this list and all will be revealed. So we got skills, Air Force, Lockheed Martin, and I have to admit, I've been uh, taking advantage of the corporate websites, making it very streamlined for me to apply to jobs. We have a bunch with Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin is the government and military and government contractors uh, are doing a bit of hiring right now, which is good news for me. Um, in fact, I applied to so many jobs at Lockheed Martin, I kind of lost track of what, what the specific jobs were. But they were all essentially like 95% of jobs I'm applying for are manufacturing engineer, mechanical engineer, um, you know, like interdisciplinary, kind of like a little more general engineer. Applying to a couple design jobs, but essentially very, and, and sometimes a little bit aerospace related. Um, in fact, I, I almost wish Sandia National Laboratories had a little space for a cover letter because I have done some work on non-destructive testing. When I say work, I mean I took a couple classes uh, a few years ago in community school, community college, and we, did, uh, we didn't do a lot of the non-destructive testing because the equipment's super expensive, but we talked about fluorescent testing, ultrasonic testing, x-ray testing. It was a fascinating, fascinating class. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, I had no idea if I would ever use it again the rest of my life, but it's a very, very useful tool, of course, to test things without destroying them. Yes, aerospace people like to destroy stuff sometimes, like explode a, a turbine blade while an engine's at full speed. That would be an awful fascinating test to watch, let me tell you. But, um, but yeah, so we're looking at all different parts of the country. Kind of want to stay on the West Coast, but, you know... I have somebody whisper in my ear, hey, Huntsville, Alabama's got a lot of jobs. I'll apply to a job in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, been looking at some California stuff, Colorado stuff, uh, Lockheed's kind of all over the place. Um, some interesting stuff in New Mexico with uh, Sandia and Trax International, Army Corps of Engineers. So this is what I spend my time doing when I'm not working on boundary layer theory for my last college class heat convection. And I'm showing you this because if you want an engineer that's going to work hard and who's going to be persistent in achieving their goals, you need someone applying to over 10 jobs a day. You need someone who's going to apply, who's going to put in the work, fill out the applications, um, you know, remember all the passwords and get all the documents right and do all the autofill stuff and you know, it, it's not an inconsequential, forgive me for the air traffic, I live next to a sheriff heliport. Um, so it's, you know, it's not an inconsequential amount of work to to do all this. Now I certainly don't need to track it. I could just, <clears throat> I could just apply and then that's what it is. But the reason that I'm tracking it, of course, is that I'm trying to get a sense, and in case you're running, the grays are uh, negative responses. Don't get a lot of them. I probably missed a negative response here or there, but I'm trying to kind of see if there's any connection between writing a cover letter, not writing a cover letter, and I'm beginning to think that cover letters don't have much to do with it, which is, you know, just kind of part of life, I suppose. But, uh, just, oh, that's right. Pending interview with Action Property Management. Well, I had the interview. I guess it's pending another interview in two to three weeks. He wanted me to email him. So, look at all these. So, we're at 99 here. 
and we're at 40, 43. So it's 132. So we are currently at 132 applications out. How many applications will it take till I get a job? Well, I guess we'll find out. I'm hoping that it's under 300. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's all right. Engineers like to analyze data and they might like to be careful in the decisions that they make. So I hope that the company that does end up hiring me, it's a good fit. You know, because I want a good fit and the company wants a good fit. I don't just want a job to get a job. I, you know, I could have had a lot of jobs. I've had a few careers in real estate and law and construction and none of it was fulfilling. You know, I, I like pounding, you know, nails and uh, cutting wood and selling homes and working on Exxon Valdez multi, you know, billion dollar multi-claim class action lawsuit stuff. It's all interesting, but it, I'm not passionate about it. I'm passionate about non-destructive testing. You know, I, I saw that one of these jobs was looking for non-destructive testing and I was like, woohoo, I have, I have some knowledge of that. <laughs> you know, you're never really sure the stuff you do in school, if it's going to apply directly for work or sort of indirectly, you know, it really depends on what kind of work you're doing. But at any rate, just wanted to share some of the stuff that I'm doing. I have some dinner that I got to get back to and I got to get ready for class tonight at 725. Oh, class is so late at night, but that's okay. I don't turn into a pumpkin at 724, so it's not a problem. And speaking of hours, if you need me to work overtime, I can work overtime by appointment. If you need me to work weekends, I have worked weekends by appointment. Granted, if you want to pay me to work 40 hours a week and you're going to have me work 60 hours a week like maybe SpaceX wants to do, you better be as cool as a company as SpaceX. That's all I gotta say. If you're cool, you're a big cool company and you're going to Mars, I might give you 20 extra hours a week. I might, but just thought I'd throw that out there. I have certainly worked overtime in my life. I have accepted the majority of overtime requests on me. Probably like 99 out of 100 requests made on me to work overtime I have. Maybe 98. I can think of two times, I can only think of two times in my entire life when I didn't want to work overtime. And both of those jobs I put an incredible amount of effort towards, so it wasn't like I was slacking off. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, please, and uh, keep engineering.